There's another kind of loop that is very similar to the while loop, but has an important difference. If we take a look back at the basic structure of a while loop, we can see that the first thing that happens when we enter the loop is that a certain condition is evaluated. Then the statement block is given and will be executed only if the condition is true and for as many times as that condition remains true. There's another kind of loop called the do while loop. And the do while loop has a very similar structure, but instead of putting the condition first, the first thing we ask it is to carry out the procedural block. So it carries out all the statements inside the block, and then a condition is specified at the end. Let's have a look at the practical difference between a while loop and a do while loop. In this particular Perl script here, if I put back the uh, all important little line there that increases the value of i by 1, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all show the same script with a larger value as the initial value for our variable. Let's say we start with the value of variable i at 20 and save that and move over to our command prompt to test our program. Now when the program begins, i is at 20 and then the condition is checked to see if i is less than 11. As you can see, the program skips straight to the last statement, done. This block of statements over here is never carried out because this condition is never true in this program. However, if instead of putting our condition at the top, we move it down to the bottom and use a do while loop instead, let's have a look at what the difference is. If we save our program, and you'll notice the only difference is that we've put the word do in front of the block, and then we've put the while condition at the end. Let's move back to our command prompt and see what happens. The block is executed only once. That's because the program flows in quite a different way. Instead of evaluating first, we carry out the block, and then we check to see if the condition is true. So if we set i to 1, we would get exactly the same set of responses from the do while loop as we do from the while loop. However, in the case of a program in which we need the block of statements to run at least once, we should always use a do while loop. And if we want to evaluate the condition first before we carry out the block of statements ever, we should always use the while loop.